Stephanie Schrader, S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-E-S-C-H-R-A-E-D-E-R. Okay, who are you with? Channel View ISD. Okay, tell me what happened. This morning, uh, an elementary student was walking to his bus stop. Uh, an unknown male approached him and attempted to grab him. Uh, the student was able to get away. His sister ran for help. A 911 phone call was placed and uh, Harris County Sheriff's Department was immediately on scene to begin conducting an investigation. And they were able to obtain a description of the suspect. He is described as a Hispanic male between the height, I think, of 5'6 to 5'8, about 150 to 160 pounds. He was wearing a white shirt with blue stripes, blue jeans, and boots, and he has not been apprehended at this time. Now, are the kids, they, they're still in school this week, or what spring break or not? We had spring break the previous week, so they were in school were all this week. week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, something strange, I mean, a little strange about this one. Not a vehicle. He was on foot. He was on foot. Is it anything like that ever around there before like that? No, not to my knowledge. I, mean, I don't know of any other situation like that, no. Okay, no. Oh, were letters sent home to the parents? Absolutely, we did. We had a letter ready to go at about 1 o'clock this afternoon, distributed it to every campus. And um, before that, we went ahead and sent emails out to our principals, giving them the description of this person so that they could be aware and be more alert. And we did have letters sent home with every student today. And at what intersection? Was it an intersection or just a bus? It was in the 700 block of Sheldon Road. Okay. Uh, near uh, residential area, more commercial area, what is that area? Um, it's, it's a mix. There, there are a lot of uh, commercial sites and a few apartment complexes. Okay. And uh, the kids have never seen this guy before or anything like that? Not to my knowledge. He, he was a stranger to this kid. And that, and what kid? How old? You said 11 year old? 11 year old. Boy, girl? 11 year old boy. boy. What about the <laughs> Upset? Quite a bit of distraught over this whole thing? Or how was he in there? I have not received any information about you know, his current situation. We know that he is safe, and that's the most important thing. And, but other than that, I don't have any information. Okay. And so you all just pretty much keep an eye on extra eye around the schools also? Uh, we work really closely with the Precinct 3 constables. They are on our campuses, and they patrol our area. So they're cooperating with the Sheriff's Department in the investigation, and they've increased patrols in the Channel View area. What about, have you all don't work with the kids at all as far as, uh, you know, da dangers of someone trying to pick them up, uh, don't do this, don't do that yeah. type deal? You know, definitely in, in these types of situations, when we sent this letter home today, we made sure to include information, giving parents general ideas of what to tell kids. You know, things such as always walk in groups, be aware of your surroundings, do not talk to strangers, don't approach strange vehicles, you know, things like that to, to help kids learn and understand you need to be careful, you need to be aware. We all have to work together to keep these kids safe. All right, Sam. Thanks a lot. Okay. Appreciate you. Thank you.